All right. It is Christmas 2022 and it is time to put up my makeup studio Christmas tree. Growing up, my grandma always had a white tree and it was either blue lights or blue ornaments. I don't know. Anyway, I decided last year, I think it was the first year that I had this tree, maybe the year before, I decided that I needed a tree, a white tree in my makeup studio. And the makeup studio is right off of my bedroom. And so it's kind of like a two for one, right? So I get to enjoy it while I'm laying in bed in the morning on the weekends, or when you are watching my videos, you will see it in the background. So this Christmas tree was super cheap off of Walmart's website and the lights are already on it. One of the things that I think is so important is fluffing the tree. So what I do as I'm assembling the tree, I'm going through and I am fluffing every single branch. And that's what I think makes the biggest difference in having your tree look absolutely fabulous, touching every single leaf that's on there and really helping to fluff it up. So I like to do it in sections. I like to start at the very bottom row, fluff those, and then as I get done with that, then I will go on to the next section and fluff that next row and so on and so forth. Once I have that section completely fluffed, then I go in and I add the next layer of the tree. This particular tree comes in three sections and then it also has a stand um, to, that is at the bottom that I use to um, hold the tree up. Like I said, I put this in the corner of the makeup studio. It's not a very tall tree. I say it's about my height when it's completely assembled, 5'5". Five, five. Um, so then Santa's little helper decided that he was going to come in and help me out. And here I am again. I'm just doing lots and lots of fluffing. So let's talk about the ornaments that I put on this particular tree. Oh, one more, one more thing to say about the tree really quick before I forget. The lights on the tree are completely white. Now, I was waiting until it was mostly assembled to turn the lights on, but um, my husband wanted to check before he went outside to start working on our Christmas lights outside. He wanted to check and make sure that the lights were functional. So even if the tree wasn't completely assembled, once I put on that top part, he came in and decided to check the lights for me. Okay, so let me tell you about the ornaments that go on this tree. I have loved to collect ornaments whenever we travel. See, there we go. I plugged it in and he's like, let's just check, make sure all the lights are working. Anytime that we travel, I love to get an ornament. And I will say now that we have six trees, my favorite trees to decorate are the ones with the sentimental ornaments and we've really gotten into the theme of each tree so for example each kid has a tree in their room and it is made up of ornaments that they've either been given as gifts over the years or maybe it's ornaments that they've made in school or just ornaments that may have been originally on our family tree that are special to them then we have our family tree and that is made up of ornaments from when Greg and I were kids. So the same concept as the individual kids trees, their trees are pretty small in their room. They're only about a foot and a half. If that they're just little table trees. And then our tree in the family room is bigger. And again, like I said, it has all of the ornaments for Greg and I, as we've grown up over the years and, um, gifts that we may have received and so on and so forth. So, I have another tree I went to Purdue. So it is a Purdue themed tree is what we call it. And it has all black gold ornaments on it and Purdue themed ornaments. Again, gifts I received over the year of Purdue ornaments. So that's on that tree. So this is our travel tree and it is from any time that we travel, we get a special ornament. And this is just a really special time for me to put these ornaments on this particular tree because it reminds me of all the wonderful times that we've traveled together. And the ornaments fill up the front half of the tree. And it's also just a reminder of all of the adventures and travels that we have to come. So again, this is a really cool tree for me and I hope that you enjoy seeing it. 
during my lives. And if you have any questions about the tree or the ornaments, please do not hesitate to ask. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the last new tree that we got. So we got a super tall tree for this year that goes in our big kind of great room area. We have a really tall ceiling there. So we got a new pencil tree and that is made up of very traditional green, red, and silver ornaments and lights. The lights are white on that one as well. It's very, very traditional looking tree and it is absolutely beautiful. Got that one off of Amazon. So again, uh, that's a little bit about the trees and I hope that you have enjoyed watching me decorate for this holiday season. If you like these types of videos, please make sure that you give me a thumbs up, that you like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. So that way, anytime I post a new video, you are notified and thank you so much for watching.